I was speaking at another conference uh, in another city. I'll tell you where it was. It was Baltimore. Um, the ICNA conference, which is, I believe, about the same size as, this, as the mass conference here. And um, I was walking out of the conference center. I was about to cross the street in Baltimore. And I hear, uh, I hear someone like running at me, like from behind, right? And then I hear someone like yelling my name. So I was like, shake side, shake side, shake side. And like the person's getting closer and closer. And I turn and I look around and there's like this kid running at me. And um, you know, he finally gets to me and I'm like, okay, it seems like there's an emergency or something. He's out of breath and he's, he comes up to me. He comes right behind me and like, I'm about to cross the street. He goes, shake side. Uh, I have to ask you, it's very important, is my haircut halal? And I'm like, what? Like that's the last thing I expected to like come out of his mouth. And I'm like so confused, like, a complete, like a completely unexpected. And I'm like, wait, hold on, like what, what, what do you mean? Like what are you talking about? He goes, you know, my haircut, is it, is it, is it okay or not? I'm like, why? He goes, you know, my dad, you know, my dad tells me that I can't cut my hair like this, so whatever. And I'm about to tell him, like, man, just, just listen to your dad. Like, if your dad doesn't like it or whatever. And then he goes, you know, can, can you, can you, like, I've heard you say that this type of haircut is permissible, it's halal. Can you speak to my dad? And I'm like, what do you mean speak to your dad? He goes, my dad's at the conference. I'm like, okay. Um, right then, I would have said no. Like, I'm not going to speak to your dad. But like, can you please be okay with his haircut? Like, it's not going to happen. But then he goes, my dad's at the conference. He's one of the speakers at the conference. He's a chef. And I'm like, what? I'm like, get out of my face. Like, get away from me. I want to have nothing to, like, please go away. Like, don't, like, I don't want to talk to you. Your dad is a chef. And he doesn't like, and, and, and you're asking me? Number one, and number two, you want me to go speak? Like, no way. Like, I'm like, I was just like so taken. I was like, no, just go listen to your dad, right? Number one, he's your dad. Number two, he's a sheikh, right? So it doesn't matter what my opinion is. Like, go listen to your dad, right? And so the point of this story is like, look, it's okay. It's okay for us to have likes and dislikes, and you know, there's things that are defined by our culture, and culturally, we may not like things, and that's and that's fine. Um, but it's, it's not okay to restrict Islam. And I believe that anyone who has really studied Islam and they have, a, they have knowledge and understanding and wisdom when it comes to their, their Islamic knowledge, uh, then they will see that Islam is indeed allows um, for the diversity that we find already within Islam.